Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I know with the work we do, it's primarily cultivating masculinity and we're working to make men strong again. Yang. But with the practices of bioenergetics, cold plunges, breathing, stretching, or lifting, do you practice still, do all practices still apply to benefiting women as well? I remember seeing women in a lot of your old videos of grounding class. I want to know if there's any variation or fundamental differences when working with women in releasing trauma, breathing deeper, and development. Um, no, not that I'm aware of. Uh, besides the just the, the normal polarity that is present when a man is with a woman, and so um, if you're working with a, a professional, a true or real professional, like say for example when I was working with Dr. Glazier, uh, a bioenergetic analyst, he would work with me just as he would work with a woman. The issues might be different, right? There are more, uh, there are certain patterns that present themselves more, more often in men versus women, but working with energy, which is essentially what it is, is it goes beyond the form, right? You know, in, in, the, in the energetic realm, if you will, there's no, there's no penis and vagina. There's male and female, right? Because there's, there's systol, diastol, there's up, there's down. You know, there's, there's negative and positive pole, right? Negative and positive charge. Um, and we both have, we both have them. We both have negative and positive charge in us. We both got male and female uh, as a part of our energetic, our energetic whole, right? Which is beyond the, beyond the physical. So the answer, just, you know, the short answer to your question is no, there's no difference. Um, what needs to be considered, and this is, this is really interesting um, because it has to do with the patient and uh, practitioner or the coach and the client relationship. Um, if you look into like the, the founders of the, of, of psychology, modern psychology, Carl Jung, I mean, uh, Sigmund Freud, Carl Jung, Wilhelm Reich, you'll find in their history some form of sexual uh, deviance, <laughs> right? These are the guys that created the profession. Um, there's something that happens with the patient or with the client and the coach in this situation, right? If you're choosing to, to get involved with this and, you know, and there are women involved called transference <clears throat> and there's transference and there's counter transference and when you open up psychologically to someone or energetically because you're doing breathing exercises as a, as a patient or as a client when that opening starts to happen all kinds of subconscious stuff starts coming to the surface um Bob Glazier, Dr. Glazier used to say you're unzipping someone's unconscious. So you could, it could be done through talking, conversation, but you know you go much deeper into the roots when you're talking about the energetic body through the deep breathing and the emotion, it's emotion. Transference happens when that person starts to relive some of its traumas and, and, and oftentimes these traumas bear attachments, usually to a mother or a father figure. And so that transference, which is, is known in psychology and, and they speak of it, you could do your own research, uh, happens where the patient then starts having disordered feelings for the, for the practitioner. Um, because they're, you know, they're, now they're working through their energetic body and their emotional body and they're not thinking rationally. And a lot of inhibitions start getting broken down. Counter transference is when that coach or that uh, practitioner starts to vibe with that transference. In other words, say that woman starts to, you know, she's opening up energetically with you and she's starting to transfer some stuff on you and she starts to get a crush on you, right? It's very easy if you're not a trained practitioner, if you're if you're just a lay dude like I see a lot of them doing on you know Instagram and stuff. I see them doing all kind of fancy yoga and stuff. And this, by the way, this is the reason why I kicked out women from grounding camp. Um, <clears throat> part of the reason I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. But um, that's how these 
I'm going to say demon infested because they're all based on trauma. False relationships happen. And this is why all these guys cheated on their wives. <laughs> Freud was sleeping with his, cl his clients. Uh, Jung was sleeping with his clients. Wilhelm Reich was all about sexual liberation. And you see it. And it's a it's also a power. It happens in all power situations, because now you look at like all of the all of the the pastors. Right. You know, Christian pastors or, uh, you know, people in high places that are in the helping profession. Right. You see it uh, with social work. You see it with teachers. You know, you see it. You see it all over the place where there's this uh, where there's this there's this transference and then it breaks down all sexual more morality goes to get thrown out the window because their beast starts getting the best of them. When I say beast, I'm not just talking about the penis beast. I'm talking about the entire energetic opening that you make with your heart. I don't believe that these people don't love each other, but they got into some sticky stuff. Why? Because of playing with the things that you're talking about right here. And I started to see it. I noticed this because I learned it when I was studying with Dr. Glazier. He told me about transference and he gave me some books. And I was reading about transference and countertransference. I experienced it myself first. And I did, you know, I just re realized I have to have self-control first when I first experienced it. And then I realized I don't need to be working with women. I would do bioenergetics with a, with a handful of women. I did it with a handful of women one-on-one. -on -one. And boy, oh boy, that transference sometimes is very quick, especially like, you know, I'm a high status man, right? So a lot of these women, you know, coming to me and they already, you know, they know I'm YouTube famous and, you know, a handsome guy on the YouTube videos. And now I want to come and I want to breathe with them. And it's all innocent enough <laughs> until that body starts squirming and those eyes start locking, right? And I had this happen once. I had it happen twice. And I was like, whoa, no more women. I'm not doing this with women. So I started doing this back when I was doing bioenergetic sessions. I don't really don't do them anymore. Um, but I was doing them with people and I was like, oh, I can't take women on the, for, the, for these any longer. I only got to work with men. I can only work with men. And even with the men, sometimes just throwing it out there, there could be transference there, too. Some, a lot of times it's, it's an anger transference because it's like then I become like the daddy figure. It's like, I fucking hate my dad. Right. And so, you know, you, so there's all kinds of weird dynamics happen. And it's part of the reason why I really don't even want to do it anymore because I'm not, I'm not, that's not my place. You know, I don't want to get into these transference, counter transference, um, deep, deep karma relationships with people. That's what priests are for, right? That's what professionals are for, right? Exorcists, <laughs> exorcists do stuff like that. You deal with the demons, <laughs> right? Um, and then, you know, at grounding camp, I, yeah, I used to have women. We had a lot of women there. And it, we were doing all the breathing, deep breathing, deep breathing and moving and sweating and looking in each other's eyes. And, oh, I can't control myself. And you know, see, next thing you know, these people are boning out in the back. <laughs> right. And I was having some married men, married men at my events, cheating on their wives because we breathing and moving. Right. It takes on a totally different energy when there's no men there because the breathing and moving is not horny. <laughs> right. When it's just guys, it's no, we're doing this thing. We're fully engaged. We're not being effeminate or wanting anything. We're just ah, 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 ah. we're going hard. Right. It's a challenge. It's a workout. It's more focused when it's all men. But the minute you put a woman in there, everybody loses their shit. One woman, one woman and the whole seal is broke. There's no containment. This is why the monks don't have women. You, know, you go to the top of Mount Athos, no women. Women are not allowed up there because they'll, they'll break the seal. And women will be like, oh, well, it's not our fault. Men should control themselves. Oh, that's true. Men should control themselves. But why? For the temptation. Why? Why? You could, you could learn how to play with a snake and not get bit, or you could just don't play with a snake. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so avoid it, avoid the situation. But I'm just giving you my experience, man. You do whatever you want. Uh, I see you, I see you, Austin. Cool, man. So I hope that helps, man. It's good work, it's good stuff. But you got like, you got to be gentle with it. You got to be gentle with it, especially when you're dealing with women. You got to be very self-contained, and you have to have strong boundaries. And you have to be about 
be about business and business only. All right? And establish that up front. But you're a young, good-looking, charismatic dude. <laughs> so ain't going to be easy. You'll be boning your clients. <laughs> well, all right, man. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where, among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. And we talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.